Andrew Tate, as you know, he has been put on house arrest in Romania. And now there are conspiracy theories coming out that they believe that he was uh, Minecraft in jail and has now been replaced with a clone. Everything from MK Ultra, they put MK Ultra 2. Like, I was like, is that like a new thing? Like, MK Ultra 2 Electric Boogaloo? Like, they, they, the, the CIA doesn't want to run a separate program. Like, they're just going to start calling it like Operation Northwoods 2, Operation uh, Paperclip 2, instead of giving things new names. He definitely looks different. He I mean, he, yeah, but he, like, he lost some of his muscle mass. I'm actually surprised he didn't lose more of it, considering how long he was in there. I'm sure he was doing push ups, like, Hella push-ups and sit-ups. He counted the amount of push-ups he did. Yeah. Like, down to each, each and every single one. Yeah, but this person says, I think Andrew and Tristan Tate have been cloned or subject to MK2 Ultra. Watch the video. It makes no sense since before they were saying how the judges said uh, the judges should have to let them out, which is true. They have no evidence. They should have apologized for what they did to them. So, like... Do you think that do you think this is true? Do you think they've replaced Andrew Tate? What if he starts coming out and he's like, I am in support of major feminist causes and he starts like it's like he goes on tour with Gloria Steinem? He's been consistent so far. Yeah. Um look, Andrew Tate is not nearly as powerful as Jeffrey Epstein was. Highly unlikely, but he does look different. Yeah. Jail does something to a man, you know? He Dude. He, he looks damaged. This person, let's see, is this the video that I was originally looking at? Yeah, here's this, uh, I mean, I, I wonder if it's going to give us the music. Give us the music. Always the same. He's just got facial hair. Uh... <laughs> they're, 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 the number one point they keep mentioning is his ears. I'm like, because there's hair behind the ears now, so they don't look as far apart. Oh. Okay, I he definitely needs to shave his head again though. This yeah, is not oh, yeah. a look. Yeah, I don't know what made him think that was a look, but it's not a look. You might keep the beard. Um, I'm fine with the beard. It's it's tolerable. <laughs> it's also really funny. I don't too. know. I think it was he like looks when when he came bad. back when he got out. It was like a faucet turned back on, and his his subscriber count has only jumped. He's gained like five hundred thousand subscribers or something. Well, he wasn't losing any followers while he was in there because he was able to post. From, I guess, his brother running his account or something. Yeah. Well, no, because so, his brother was in jail with him. His his brother was also Tristan in jail? Tristan was in jail. Well, why wasn't Tristan posting anything? I, I, strong, silent type, maybe. I don't know. Okay, like, I, whoever was running yeah. Andrew Tate's accounts. I, I want to know why it would still be MK Ultra and not something M different. It's MK Ultra 2. two. Did yeah. you hear? It's MK Ultra 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's, that's so much better. I, lo but, I love the idea that the government does that. It's... <laughs> I think we're all just reeling from the the Epstein yeah. situation, uh, but I don't think this is a an example of that happening. If you know what I mean. Remember when people said that Anthony Bourdain uh, was actually used as like a body double for Jeffrey Epstein? No, what? Yeah. What is it? What yeah. they, so they're saying like he what like after he, stood he in committed for sewer slide that they. Yeah, used his body as a body double for his autopsy so that they could fabricate results. Why when you could just use any Well they look um Oh they look they, they look similar. Somewhat similar. Okay. So that's why people thought that. And they also like there were people taking photos from afar of him getting his his corpse getting wheeled out of yeah. the hospital. I remember I mean there was also a lot of there was a lot of conspiracy theories around the death of Chester Bennington. Because he was anti-human trafficking and stuff like that. Well, who's pro? I like, don't know. <laughs> I was saying, but he was outspoken. He's was he like, an activist? I think he had signed. I think he had done like something for like a documentary, like right before this mm. had happened. Like he had spoken on. Camera. I mean, yeah, like p powerful people uh, are willing to go to great lengths to keep and, themselves in the shadows who knows what's possible and maybe maybe what it really is is like this is all the same doctors who are who are keeping walt disney's head on ice <laughs> and it's they're all kind of working on the same thing do you think that uh walt disney the the walt disney theory is true I, i'm gonna go and say i buy it i buy that his head is somewhere there but at, we know in the, that in the, in, the, in the castle we know that chronics don't work we I could mean, maybe use the dna to clone him in the Sure, someday maybe someday it wouldn't, it wouldn't be walt disney it would be a different guy with a different body it and, would be uh, 
how do you say Walt backwards? Tlaw. Tlaw. <laughs> but also, like, you, when you really think about it, would you even be able to tell, like, okay, imagine this. You clone someone from that long of a time period ago. Would, you, would they even be able to assimilate into society when it's so different now? Like, they, wouldn't, they would functionally be a different person very quickly because they missed out on all the years in which society grew to, you Well, then know, you'd find out how much of somebody's personality is nature versus nurture if you were able to clone someone successfully. Yeah. But a lot of people think that they do have uh, very good cloning technology right now and better deepfake te technology than we are allowed to find out. Yeah. And that they're just testing the waters for what's detectable. Ah. But I don't know if I'm, I'm that far. I don't even believe conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories. I just think that that term on its face is like not... not it doesn't mean anything because saying conspiracy theory doesn't have any evaluation of whether it's true or false. It's just meant uh, to immediately dis It's just to discredit, yeah, to discredit, discredit something that somebody yep. is saying. So I don't even think that there's as much of a distinction between conspiracy and, and not conspiracy. Well, I think I really do think people, think. what people don't realize is that the average person, there is an extremely there's a lot of weight to just hearing a person in a tuck in, in like a suit tell you something on the TV. Like, I guess. like, do you, okay, so if I mean, not for me, if mean, some, but no, it's something to the average person, the average. right? So, so if, if tomorrow somebody came out and said, uh, JFK, they've proven that JFK was, uh, it was actually somebody on the grassy knoll and that's what happened. As long as it's a dude in a suit on a TV telling you that you don't know what research the dude in the suit did. You don't know whether the network, uh, funded this or how it was, how it came to be. You have no clue how that information got there. You just know that it's run by a company that makes a lot of money and therefore they have some type of authoritative say over how you see the world because of, uh, because in the past you assume they've been right. It okay. makes no sense. Yeah. Especially when we see how much they lie. Have you seen what they've been saying about like Riley Gaines? Um, they're like, they're like, she was be. They're, they're saying her, they were called, they're like her violent rhetoric and all this stuff. The, the media is disgusting and the media is evil. But for a lot of people, a guy in a suit carries a lot of weight. Yeah, I suppose so. so. But when you're talking about Andrew Tate, he's yeah, uh, looking very haggard and. Uh, he, yeah, and a lot of the funny thing is they, they also like I, I looked up a couple of articles and it's really funny how they don't even try to be unbiased even at like the BBC like they're like uh, Andrew Tate the the alt-right uh, misogynist and I'm like you could have just said Andrew Tate the influencer Andrew Tate the controversial figure you could have used any amount of language there but nothing is an actual news piece anymore it's all op-eds my only opinion about Andrew Tate is that what he says um, is like usually inconsistent with something that he said in the past. Yeah, usually, <laughs> but that doesn't make him super unique. I mean, I think he's I think he's a genius marketer. I think. He's, I, also, I would like to know, yeah. guys, do you believe that Andrew Tate has been cloned? Well, do they think that he they cloned Tristan as well, or is Tristan still alive? They, no, Trist, maybe Tristan wanted to steal the empire, so he got a clone who's subservient to him. So Tristan cloned Andrew so that he could take over the business entirely. It, they said it looks like they cloned his brother and made him... No, this is totally incoherent. Surge, I... surge in new followers. 500,000 new followers since he got out. There's a $20 one right there. Uh, Shane H. Wilder said, one Andrew Tate is one too many. The dude is the polar opposite of the feminist thoughts. Neither realized that there is a difference between Eros love and Agape love. If they did, they wouldn't treat each other as conquest. Okay. Uh, I, for one, thought. just find the guy hilarious. So I... I People in our chat tend to actually have really strong opinions about Andrew Tate one Pro way or the other. Pro or anti. Pro or anti, people tend to have very strong and that, opinions. And accomplishing that level of polarity with people yeah. is a, it's a huge achievement in and of itself. For your, especially if you want to make money on the internet. Yeah. Like, But oh, my, my only opinion is that uh, I didn't enjoy uh, how he presented himself before or after getting out of jail. So I think what he is, though, I think he is a perfect example. If you want to if you whether you like him or not, he is a perfect example of just how much of the culture uh, is empty for younger men. 
for, for teenage yeah. boys and up. Like they're they're starving for role models. Yeah. Right. And whatever you think of him, it just proves like if Hollywood wants to counter it, then I ask you, why haven't you come up with a better example? Because well, Hollywood caused it. That's yeah, what they did. exactly. It's like, a, like a, not everybody cares about Pedro Pascal, dude. Like, sorry, like that's that's not somebody I look up to or somebody a lot of people look up to. And for a lot of people, I think he is a, a perfect sign of where the culture needs to fill in spaces, whether you like him or not. Men could use better and stronger role models. You can't. Yeah, you can't just. Hollywood needs to learn that you can't just create a vacuum where male male role models or aspirational figures used to exist and just leave it empty. Somebody is going to come along and fill the vacuum. Yeah. And it's not going to be your first choice. It's a natural consequence of what you did, you know? Yeah. When you erase uh, masculinity as something to aspire to. And, uh, and for him, also, there is just such a thing now where whenever I see stuff, like when you look up his Twitter page, it says media personality. Everything I see now, I don't look at anything on the internet and think of it as real. Like every, every social media no. post is d designed to make you feel something. Every tweet is designed to make you feel something. If you watch a video of something, it's edited. How is it edited? What about that editing is designed to make you feel a certain way? What and I mean you... that just like when we were talking about Drew Barrymore and uh, how what, what she can sit on a couch in front of six cameras and hold somebody's hand as if they're having some deep and meaningful discussion when that is a skill set that an actor has to have. It feels intimate, but it's not intimate. What did you think of the video that Andrew Tate posted of him uh, pacing back and forth while smoking a cigar? Look, I like. What I, was it supposed to make you feel? Uh, for that, it I made I mean, me feel confused. I think it's supposed to make you wonder what's happening, and then to check back in for more. Is it? Yeah. Because I I was like watching the video, waiting for something to happen, or waiting for him to say something, and then he didn't, and I was yeah. like, okay. No, I, I, I think of my life. I think that's him. You know, like he's trying to convey that, like what he went through, right? So he's he's pacing. He's he's uh, like reacting. he did in his cell. Yeah, yeah. In a lot of ways, a lot of no people said yeah. that in the people said that in the chat. They said he's pacing the exact distance of his cell back and forth. If that was on purpose, that's all I'm saying. That everything that you see on video, nothing you see from Hollywood, nothing you see posted on the internet from anybody that has any type of aspiration to get somewhere via social media clout is posting stuff just by accident. It's done in a way that's supposed to manipulate you in some fashion or another, whether you like them or not. It's definitely, uh, I, I won't dismiss that it's definitely traumatic to be locked in a room yeah. with no windows for three months. Yeah, I mean, people Obviously. go insane in, in solitary confinement. So, yeah, if Andrew Tate wasn't um, maybe a bit of a psychological case before, yeah. then after you do that to someone, it's not going to be any better. You know what my favorite PSYOP has been, in, or, or like internet trend has been recently? Oh, Ooh, wow. We've got a okay, big, big super chat from Francisco Sanchez Jr. Thank you. He said, this is for the best version of PCC, the two cri for two crisis parties, and for the yin and yang that you two are. We are very different. We are very different yeah. people. Also, are you the yin or the yang, or am I the, am I the yin or I the yang? I forget which is which. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for, for a lot of this though, for like, I just, maybe it's just a little bit of like almost paranoia for me, but I want, you have to watch so much content, right? You have to watch so many videos, but when you're watching a TV show, you know, you're being shown something that's supposed to make you feel something. And a lot of people take advantage of the fact that they're using that same mindset when they create content for you to look at when that content is supposed to be slice of life or just something that, Oh, look, we made this on a whim. It's like, uh, Will Smith failing at doing that when he sits in a room that's clearly a stage but is supposed to look like a living room yeah thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys